So I think I'm about to change the world with this one. What you can see behind me is what's widely regarded across the industry as the best aftermarket pressure washing hose on the planet. So this is the Cobra Jet, comes from the US, manufactured in the US. And as obviously you've seen it on wall solutions, on Krenzlers mainly. However, what I'm gonna try and do, this is gonna be huge overkill. This is the first kind of episode. This is a trial build. Again, due to the supply issues around the world, a lot of people said, look, are you getting a Cobra Jet? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? So I've been hammering at the States to say, look, I need these. So luckily now I'm starting to get them, obviously, one by one. They're kind of arriving here in there, dribs and drabs. So I've got enough stock now to kind of, you know, start doing the trial build. So what I've gone for is, as you can see, I've got a black and I've got a gray. They can come all in different sizes, 75 foot, 100, 200 feet. Um, they're all rated for upwards of 4,000 PSI, so that's not gonna be a problem with any pressure washer. And the fact that you don't even wash your car at 4,000 PSI, it's irrespective of what the hose is rated for. Now, this has never been done, as far as I'm aware, so I don't even know that it works. Now, the people who have helped me with this, obviously, are gonna watch the video and they're gonna be crying with laughter because to get to where I wanted to get with this took a lot of trial and error and a lot of tears and I don't even know if this one's going to work. So, in fact, before going to the fittings, as you can see, I've had to go and buy a brand new Karcha K4. The disadvantage of this machine is this. It comes with probably the most useless and the most horrific hose, as you can see, so it's still strapped up. It's probably the most useless hose available right now it kinks well first of all it's too short then it starts to kink so under pressure it just kinks and coils everywhere no matter how good of a gun you have even if, even if you have our ultimate gun over there and with obviously the live swivel being extremely good this is just garbage um, probably an iphone charging cable has got more capability than this so again we're not even going to waste our time in even undoing this and now we're kind of left with the body of the machine. You see this, the little pea shooter, right? So, um, in fact, I did this off camera. I wish I filmed it, so I couldn't, I couldn't get it in, right? So this is what it looks like. This is the full control series, which is, again, totally useless. Um, so, as you can see, it's absolutely huge. So for all the Europeans and the Americans out there, I'm two meters tall, so this is probably yeah, this is exactly probably around a meter in length. Um, a little bit too big. Obviously, the trigger action, we don't need to go anywhere with that. It's, you know, it's totally useless. Now, the disadvantage of this is one, obviously, again, it's not too hard once you get used to it, but huge. You've got to undo this. You've got to put your car chair adapted snow foam. So imagine your PF22 in there. It's still huge. So imagine you've got a liter of foam becomes very top heavy. So again, not even gonna go into this. This is completely kind of useless. Now we're left with the body of the machine now. So my goal was, because a lot of people do have K4, K5 and K7s. Obviously, as you move up the numbers, the more prevalent these hoses become, I believe. So my goal is, you've just removed all the kind of garbagey parts you're left with the machine. It's not still the best machine in the world, but Karcher have got quite a big stronghold within the UK, down to the price point. So my goal is, how can I adapt, literally the best hose in the world, to work with something that is not designed for quick connect? Now, again, manufacturers like to use their proprietary fittings. They've got C-clips and M97s and all of these things. Whereas, you know, if you go down to um, a Krenzler, it's an M22 out the hose, you can quite easily adapt it. And obviously you can start building out like world-class accessories. With this, you can't. Um, so, my friends have um, hooked me up with plenty of research um, onto what I believe, I'm not even sure if this even works, but first of all, it's brass, you know how much I hate brass. But for now, I think this is, 
um, because this is a trial I don't want to go obviously all stainless but I don't even believe these parts are available in stainless uh, you can't really see it out the back of the machine here so imagine if it was fitted so it's not really a problem but I'll probably have these manufactured in stainless again if I believe this works so this is a c-clip that will go into any modern karcher so as you can see it's all too familiar with this so by the way this has got a lot of grease and i don't know why to do this um this is why i'm going to use this so c-clip it'll go into the back machine now the problem with this is by the way look at these hoses my boys at Velocity, obviously, we have an awesome partnership. Cobra Jeff for the win, literally amazing. And these are heavy. So imagine this will obviously go into the machine, but how do you fit it? It's a male, obviously a male fitting, male hose. So we're in a bit of a pickle. Now this is why, again, I've had to source one of these, especially these, this thing is, believe it or not, harder to find than you think it's it's quite an easy connection but it's not widely available because again it's i don't even know what a professional i don't know like a pneumatic company would use this for so my whole goal is i'm going to tape all of this up now but it will obviously thread into here one goes into the machine and the other thing or the other end obviously because this is a female it will go directly into the Cobra Jet. Now, of course, like with anything, I prefer the quick release. Like I said, the Americans have got it right. Again, you can put a female coupler on, not a problem. It'll go into the end of the hose. This is a 3 8 output. It'll go directly into the bottom of your gun, bang, and you're in business. So this is gonna be amazing on your Krenzlers. So something like a K7, a K10, it's not compatible with an 1152. It's only because it's a bit too thick and the reel would just not take it very well. But if you can bypass it with a hose reel, again, the K7, K10, you boys are gonna love this. So I know there's a lot of people in the queue for this already. Um, so we will under, obviously under my spec, I will put all the stainless QDs on, onto each end. I've got an M, in fact, I've had to go and get this. So this is my recent delivery from the States. Um, this is another adapter. So again, imagine if you've got these three eighths uh, female couplers on, this will go onto your Krenzler. And guess what? The both three eight output rated, boom. See, it's as easy as that. So for all you people who've got a um, Krenzler K7, K10 or any machine, like in among some lines or wall mounted kind of pressure washers this will be really nice so this is a these come in two fitments on the thread i've only got the one at the minute because i'm chasing a specific solution but as we speak i've got the other um fitment coming in from the states anyway so um velocity have really helped me with this one so these are the fittings i'm going to leave the qds for now because the qds are non-compatible um, with the K4, so leave this one out too. Now, I've quickly, off camera, taped up all the fittings. Now, why would you go and spend more money, pretty much, it's going to be about equal, but let's call it just a little bit more money on a hose that is actually more expensive than the pressure washer itself. We get um, inundated with literally emails, calls, pretty much every day. People see it on, you know, various YouTubers will, you know, talk about Karcher and Nilfisk and, and they'll talk about obviously the, the downfalls of the hoses. And everybody's going for the same garbage. They're just buying these aftermarket hoses, which are like, I don't know, 20 meters, 15 to 10 meters, whichever length you decide to go for. They're no better, literally. They might still just a little bit, maybe a 10% increase in, in the functionality of the hose, um, but eventually they're still, they burst, they, they tend to split, and um, they don't lay flat. That's the main thing. So you're gonna be paying 50 quid, maybe 75 quid on a hose. Why not potentially spend, you know, 100, 150 pound on a hose, which is world-class, which has been rated by pretty much every professional in the world. 
Um, and where it really gets interesting is what you then do is you're connecting your entire setup rather than having the car chair um, quick release adapter, which will go into the C-clip, but still you've got a lot of bulk and the gun's a bit kind of unbalanced. Whereas what you will do once we attach on one end a quick disconnect coupler, obviously stainless to stainless, what you then do is look at that. There's no bulk. You've got your plug, you've got your coupler, nothing else. And you transferring your fitments pretty much to the most universal thing, which is the quarter inch coupler. And you do it like that. So it's going to look really nice. Now let's do this. By the way, I've not tried this, so I don't even know if it's going to work. And then I would have wasted 220 quid, first of all, on the carcher. Now, obviously you've got the C-clip. Let me move this. Don't want to scratch my expensive cabinets with my expensive hoses. So I've got to be really careful. Right. So, first of all, so I don't mess around, I'm going to put my... Again, like I said, this is, um, this is going to be a bit of a hack job. So again, I've taped it. I'm going to now talk it down as best I can. I just need a little bite in it just to see if it actually works. So, it goes all the way, the threads aren't tapered or anything. So look at that. So it goes in tight, get a little bit of PTFE there. So it's quite a clean connection. And then what are we going to do? I'm excited and I'm nervous at the same time. So we've got the C-clip. Come on, baby. Right. So it can come in and out. And obviously you've got this carcher thing, which should fit in there. And if I'm not mistaken, that is not coming out. Yes. So, and then what we do, I'm just going to go with a black hose for now. The gray, the gray hose is a slightly uh, different jacket material. In fact, I'll show you this one up close. By the way, I think this hose is going to be the most popular color, look at that, it's like a nautil gray. Beautiful. So I'm gonna go with the black because I just taped it first. And then in theory, what we should do is we should then just, in fact, let me, what I'll do for ease of purpose for the video, what I'm gonna then do is this should, this is a female to female adapter, come on. <laughs> Yeah, so nice. <clears throat> Reason I'm not using any hardware here is because I need to take it back off. So I don't want to talk it too down. I just want a no bite so the water flow is perfect. I take this silly little clip. Boom. Ooh, right, so, oh yes. I've never seen this setup anywhere in the world, by the way, on a Karcher K4, 5, or 7. So I may just be one of the first, if not the first, but it doesn't really matter because I know this is not available in Europe to anybody. So this solution has not been made for you. So if you've got a Karcher K series, seriously, this might be just uh, game over. So. So I've gone from, I've converted Karcher C-clip onto my female adapter, onto my um, Cobra Jet male thread. Again, as you can see, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a hack. You can see, it's coming in there, look at that. That's not coming anywhere, it's good. And then if my theory is correct, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beautiful coupler and then we should be so funny if the most obvious part doesn't fit. <laughs> right. Oh, yes. And then look at this, right? So I haven't tested this yet. So let's not all start jumping up and down because I've just discovered literally fire. Um, 
but obviously you talk it down properly etc etc so hopefully there's no leaks in this because i don't want to do it too tight now the theory is you've got a three eighth coupler the same that we put on our um, pressure washer packages but this is the female version i've got a three eighth plug on the gun that is literally look bang this is what you want this is exactly what you want this is the ultimate solution. Yes, it's going to cost you. However, you then don't need to mess around with, um, with any kind of serious bulk like Karcher quick disconnect and um, kind of like the bayonet fittings. This is now all quarter inch. Now, you're going to probably be asking, well, what happens? You know, all well fires being neat here, but how are you going to then reel it back up? Obviously, because this is a lay flat hose, once extended, it will kind of coil back up properly so what you can do is you can take this off pull it out and coil it back up now the biggest problem that i'm again i've done no ratings on this yet so i can't really tell you but naturally the longer you go in terms of water kind of hoses anything that puts water through it the longer you go so if you go from 10 to 20 meters let's you know just make an easy example is you're going to start losing pressure because again it's got longer to travel before it hits the tip so what i'm going to do is i'm going to overcompensate for that loss of pressure on the hose by actually nippling down or reducing my my orifice size on on the nozzle assembly so i'm not going to go with what is recommended for the flow of the pressure washer because we're not getting that flow rate anymore um, so i'm going to go down from a four to a three so i'm actually making again the right psi and most importantly the right flow at the tip so it should go like this let's go and try and see how it works now notice how flat the hose is lying obviously i've got a massive i think this is a hundred foot um you do not need this kind of hose length on your um k4 you could if you want, but I'm not unraveling the whole thing because obviously I'm not going to be washing the car. But now we're going to be testing if there's any sort of leaks. Um, but like I said, look, no kinks. Once this is fully unraveled, what you're going to do is obviously, as you've seen with my Krenzer, we're just going to take it all out. You can move around the car, not a problem. So I've got my inlet hose all sorted. I'm going to prime the, the pump. Make sure there's no leaks first. Let us find pressure. No leaks. So the most important thing, there are no leaks, which is good. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! Obviously there's a little bit drop there, but like I said, I haven't talked this down just enough obviously to give me the bite just to see if the connections are working that's the most important thing oh yeah and just like that you go and change your car to hose Woo! what's the flow like nice lovely it's got nice pressure obviously um, people are going to get caught off guard because, again, it's such a long hose and it takes a lot of water to prime it. Oh, such a solution this is. Oh, my God. So, um, yes, this is the first um, trial episode build, whatever you want to call it, of my Karcher journey. Um, no, I'm not going to be selling Karcher. I really do not like the pressure washer, but I know you guys, a lot of you guys have got, you know, K4s going all the way to K7. Um, and why not introduce you to, obviously, the best hose that has ever been made. So, um, as I said, look, it's still, it's still lying flat. There's no kinks. There's nothing even under pressure. Look. There's absolutely nothing. And can you see, it's not pulsing or anything like that. So it'll build pressure. 
and it'll come straight off as soon as you release the trigger. So again, there is nothing wrong with this setup. The only thing, looking at it kind of from my kind of professional standpoint, I would probably get a little bit of a shorter hose. Um, or if you do want a long hose, again, like I've just proven to you, it's, um, it's perfectly fine. And you can literally start to then enjoy kind of like the best guns, the best quick disconnect at this end, so you don't have to mess around with something that obviously carts you make all the time, it's plastic and all that sort of stuff. So full stainless from here and um, you can't really complain. So um, anyway, guys, I hope, and it's raining, I don't care, and I'm freezing, but I honestly, I hope you're excited as I am because this, I think, is going to take you to seriously, like, the next level of enjoyment. Um, like I said, and I always say in store, over the phone, email, is, look, if you do it for yourself, always a business. People say, well, I'm not a business. Um, it really doesn't matter. It's the stupidest comment I've ever heard. Um, if you do it for yourself, especially out of the pleasure, a lot of people wash cars out of pleasure, why are you going to potentially use the worst kind of equipment, whereas you can use the best the ones, all that sort of stuff, so... I hope you're excited guys because I am and this will be coming soon. I look forward down to um, replying to all your comments, questions in the comment section of course um, and of course I will see you on the next one.